Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Eric Martinez from Dynamic Duo Training. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to cook ground beef. And for all you meat lovers out there, this is going to be a really, really good video. And if you don't like meat, then sorry, this is not for you. But first and foremost, before I show you guys how we actually cook the ground beef, I'm going to tell you why Chris and I are really, really like big proponents on you know eating ground beef and red meat. Uh, first and foremost, it's a great source of protein and it's also a great source of fat. It's, uh, it's uh, accounted for as a, a saturated fat and this is what we need in our daily macronutrients. And it's also really high in iron and a lot of people really, really don't pay attention to that. And another thing is too, um, you know, people always say like, oh, red meat's bad for me, um, I can't eat it, you know, it's going to clog my arteries, this and that. But you know, there's been countless of studies you know, that show that it's not bad for you. It just all depends on what kind of ground beef you get. If you're going to pay for the cheap crap, I mean, that's what do you expect? You know, you're going to get cheap stuff. You know, it's going to go in your body and just cause a bunch of problems. But um, I really, really recommend getting the 100% the grass-fed beef. And you know, it's, what, what they mean by grass-fed is the cows are fed with actual natural grass as opposed to like feeding them with like corns and a whole bunch of junk, okay? And it's not like shot with hormones and a whole bunch of other stuff, you know? So we get ours from Whole Foods and you know, it's a little pricey, but I mean, you pay for what you get and it's really, really good once it's cooked and it's just, it's, it's totally health, healthy for you, okay? So, okay, so I'm gonna get into how to cook it exactly. So first off, you know, you're gonna get yourself some sort of skillet to cook it on. Okay, then you just let the beef warm up for a little bit, you know, just mash it up a little bit and, you know, just play around with it, you know, experiment with it a little bit. I don't know what you guys exactly like to put in yours, but we like putting like garlic salt in it, gives it that really good taste, um, some more garlic, but this is garlic pepper and we also put in some red pepper. And then we'll go with like some El Pato sauce, which is actually just like a little salsa just to give it some spice. And then we get, we put some um, oregano in there. I'll put some basil sometimes. And then I'll have like some other chili powder that I put in there. And <clears throat> the one main ingredient that we must have in it is tapatio. Okay? That's the secret. That's what makes it taste good, okay? And I'm sorry, but we just love like spicy food and I just, you gotta have that, okay? And then after that, you know, I cut up some zucchinis and then um, a little bit of onion just to give it some flavor, some texture. And then, yeah, just throw it all in there, cook it. Um, I don't know how well done you like your meat. We like it kind of medium, so, you know, we just do it to that, okay? So that was a video on ground beef hope you guys enjoyed that try it out it's really good for you don't listen to all that bull crap out there about red meat being bad okay so visit us at www.dynamicduotraining.com facebook twitter peace